Item SCP-001, Jonathan Ball's Proposal, Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures To date, no adequate containment procedures have been developed to deal with the possible threat posed by SCP-001. This is due in part to the controversial nature of the item and debates cons concerning the necessity of its containment. The controver this controversy is reflected by in its items changing object class and the procedures utilizing in its containment. The current administration, despite ch char charges of paranoia, has classed the object Keter, while requesting per permission for a higher object class to be created and applied uniquely to this item, considering it to be the most dangerous of all known possible items. The reason for its classification and changing attitudes towards SCP-001 are dealt with in description and notes. At present, SCP-001 is low located in a code lock briefcase made of high tensile reinforced polymer. The room and briefcase are monitored at all times by security cameras. The briefcase cannot be opened without unanimous special clearance from all current O5 officers. This briefcase itself is stored in a small, fully lit, single room office site erected in Redacted. Class D per personnel are posted to guard the building but may not enter without a formation agreement from the O5 officers under threat of immediate termination. This, is, this off-site building exists for a sole purpose of housing SCP-001 and is wired for detonation in an emergency. It is the opinion of the current administration that SCP-001 represents the greatest threat to national and global security known to exist. Nevertheless, due to special circumstances regarding in its mode of function, for Further research on the item is disallowed, despite its pro premonition in the past where, when SCP-001 was contained in minimal security conditions. Description SCP-001 is a simple sheaf of papers, stapled together in the top left corner. The top sheet is a covering sheet reading simply, Confidential Report on Special Items Classified. The number of subsequent papers stapled to this covering sheet is indeterminate and have ranged from 30, 3 to 30. The report is unassigned and its origin is unknown. The first appearance of this report was on Redacted when it appeared on the desk of Redacted. The report at that time described the living room, SCP-002. Shortly after reading the report with incredibly Redacted, was contacted by phone regarding said item. The next time redacted pre-used pre SCP-001, it described not the living room, but biological motherboard, SCP-003. Redacted immediately closed SCP-001, thinking it was a different report, and searched for the original report on SCP-002. Not finding it, he again opened SCP-001, and this time it described not SCP-003, but the 12 rusty keys and the door, SCP-004. Redacted closed the report once more and opened it immediately to read of skeleton key, SCP-005. It is not known what the ac next actions of Redacted might have been. At varying times, following this incident, the information item were, dis were discovered. Insufficient research exists concerning the correlation between SCP-001 and all known items, however, it has been established that every event regarding the discovery of a new SCP item has followed a report on the same item appearing beneath the cover sheet of SCP-001. The current administration regards this coincidence as proof of casual connection. Additional notes. Whether SCP-001 is to be regarded as an advanced warning system, or whether SCP-001 itself is to be regarded as the creator of the items requiring the special containment remains to be seen. However, the distinction is unimportant in the eyes of the current administration. The fact remains no new SCP items appear unless SCP-001 is opened and read. It is for this reason that the current administration refuses to repeat the mistakes of the past, mistakes that have resulted in over 1,000 SCP items coming to the knowledge of the SCP unit. Arguments concerning the non lethality of SCP-001 itself is theoretically beneficial use as an SCP warning system or it, its use as a progenitor of 
Advanced biological and non-biological weapons have not swayed the current administration, nor have the ar arguments criticizing the extreme containment procedures employed in respecting to the item that displays no nefarious qualities and is not an animated itself. Critics, critics are reminded that these procedures are intended not to contain the item itself, but to isolate it from human interaction, which is to be regarded as the true threat. Although the current administration refuses to remove the object from isolation, bearing a special authorization, as noted above, past administrations have counseled daily with the item, and future administrations will no doubt counsel similar behavior. Nevertheless, it is the opinion of the current administration that, bearing the instruction of SCP-001, it is to be contained until such a time when responsibility for its containment falls upon future administrations.